I don't know what you're laughing at. It will happen to you eventually. Childbearing hips, fat backside, sagging breasts. <laughs> Do you know what it feel like when the size of your waist measure the same as your hip? Huh? <laughs> and your breast can hold a conversation with your belly button? <laughs> Wait. Hey, don't stand around. Looking glow, because it's Saturday, and we have come. It's a wonderful day, and we're bright and we're merry. The lines have to rhyme, so I use my dictionary from the special MC with the silver tongue, mm. and I like to say, good, good morning, morning Mum. <laughs> no, guy, you can't steal. That's fresh, man. What's wrong with you? Why not? Because you're always stealing my All right, right, all right, all right, enough. It doesn't matter. You all right? Yes. Mum, where have you put my red sweatshirt? I ain't put your red sweatshirt nowhere. It must be still lying on the floor where you left it. But my mom's gonna wear that today. Oh, what's stopping you? Because it's dirty. Sean, you can read, write, speak French, program a computer. Hmm? You can do all that, but you still can't put your dirty clothes in the washing machine and turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Then do it. And while you're at it, I want you to wash the dishes, tidy your room, and clean your teeth. Shim. <laughs> Life is not fair. Oh, well done, Mum. It's about time men took more responsibility on the domestic front. You know... <laughs> what are you doing? Doing? I ain't doing nothing. You doing the doing. I want this whole house tidy before your Auntie Susu come. Auntie who who? You still here. <laughs> Auntie Doreen from Jamaica. Oh, yes. Auntie, the last time I saw you was this big, Doreen. Every time I seen her, she was always this big. And that is just the size of she mouth. <laughs> You're saying my sister is fat? Well, she ain't small, is she? I mean, she like a whole heap of them women back home. <laughs> yeah, big mothers. You still here? <laughs> I'll do that. I want to talk to your father. Oh, thanks, Mum. You can help Sean instead. Ha <laughs> ha, shame. Sean? <laughs> I'm still here, aren't I? I was just... <laughs> Desmond? Uh-huh. You think being fat is hereditary? Nah, we don't have nothing to do with that. I mean, fat people is fat people, in it? It's just like a skinny man is a skinny man. <laughs> Sometimes you talk stupidness. Baldness is hereditary, like the Japanese are small. You ever see a Japanese basketball team? <laughs> well, that is just a characteristic of the Oriental man, like they have slanted eyes and we don't. Yeah, and we have big mamas and they don't. We have other big things and they don't. <laughs> You think my hips are too big? No. You think I'm fat? No. You sure? Yes. I think I am. Well, I don't think you are. Well, I do. Well, if you think you're too fat, uh, then you're too fat. You see? <laughs> you agree with me? Well, I didn't say you're fat, it's you say you're fat. Well, what would you say if I look like this? <laughs> well, I'd say you look like a mad woman with constipation. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Shirley? I feel used, taken for granted. I feel ugly. Ah, uh, don't worry, man. Big Susu come in later. You, st <laughs> you stand up next to her, you're bound to feel cheered up. I don't need cheering up. All right, all right, all right. Yo, morning, days. Morning. You again? Yeah, of course it's me. It's Saturday and your star stylist is here. Mind you, you're lucky I am. Last night, right? I get a call from this new client. Now, I don't want to go around her place, but she says to me she wants to show me her record collection. And why don't I bring a few of mine? <laughs> well, that was an offer I couldn't refuse. I thought, Tony, with these gifted hands, a large record collection, and my good looks, no trouble. So what happened? She opened the door, and she was... I mean, she was just... Beautiful. Ah, big days, a big mama. <laughs> and Alice. She could dance, man. What? We danced all night. <laughs> oh, she's got a wicked sense of humour. You know what, though, Des? It's funny how you can misjudge a person. Especially women, Tony. Women are the eighth wonder of the world. You wonder what's going on inside their heads. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, mate. But watching Alice dance last night was definitely the ninth, tenth and eleventh wonder all rolled into one. <laughs> all right, listen to this. I bet you'll never guess it's who this. Morning, that's one. Morning, Tony. Morning, man. <laughs> I don't know what it is, boy. Boy, 
Boys are hot tuned. Is it um healing in the bomb yard by the ticklers? No. Nope. Is it dashing, dashing by dashing, dashing? No. Nope. Hey, what is it? It's a uh, water the garden by Count Lasher. It's how you know who it is. A man in the record shop said there's only three copies left in the world. He have one, I have one, yeah. and I've got the other one. That gives a small world, in it? Sometimes, Park Fire, you are so gullible. <laughs> We're here. That woman. The plane was late as it is. She then decides to go window shopping. Now, I don't mind. But we hadn't even left the airport yet. And she brings all this fruit. Why? We can get all this stuff down Peckham Mock. <laughs> so, so, is that you? Yes, that is me. Close your mouth, you'll catch flies. <laughs> so we finally see the shop. It's small, yes? It look bigger in the photograph. So what's she there? Uh, hold on, I'll go get it. Shirley, Susuka! <laughs> Thank you, Michael. That boy of yours is strong, you see. Okay, listen. I've got an appointment with a mortgage client, so I've got to. Client, my backside. <laughs> I come all this way to see my little nephew and him telling me about client and market and thing. <laughs> now listen, Artie, really. Stay up. put. <laughs> now, Desmond, you're going to introduce me? Ah, uh, this is uh, Tony, our. Um... Stylish. This is a mango, Tony. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> Hello? The man have a phone in him, Papi. <laughs> Whatever happened to a phone box? Auntie Doreen! <laughs> <laughs> call me Susu. People only call me Doreen when them get angry. <laughs> eh, 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 turn round. Make me look by you. You're too skinny. <laughs> eh, eh. Pork pie. Big D. It's who you calling big. <laughs> you can't see me skinny, no. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Me can see that. But when Desmond they tell me you was coming for your own, me never believe him. Why not? Because me never they think Maxwell would let you go. Maxwell? He's who that? He's who that? Your husband. Him is history. Him God clear. So me looking for another man. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Well, Auntie Susu, we can't have your bags clutching up the place. We, we've got a business to run. I never put them there. You did. Look, just put them in the spare room. He is a good boy, Desmond. No. Sean! <laughs> <laughs> Look how big you is now! <laughs> Shirley! <laughs> oh, Turn round, make me look by you. Your pot are weird. <laughs> Shoot you. Thank you. Oh, you lose weight. Thank you. We didn't think nobody did notice. I notice. You want to come down the Domino Club with me tonight? Domino? I never come to England to play Domino. There's plenty of Domino back home. Now let her get settled down first, pork pie. I will take your sightseeing. I never evening. come here for that. Music is. But him here look for. <laughs> to a dance and we can boogie and thing. Not rest yourself, poor pie. It's a different thing me want. It's an intellectual man I want to show me around. <laughs> Come around here, you gonna find an intellectual man. But Matthew is intelligent. Matthew is an idiot. Matthew can speak for himself. <laughs> How do you do? So where do you comes from? Uh, the Gambia, you know, home of Kunta Kinte. You're a prince? No, oh, no, no. He's a student. You want some further education? What are you doing tonight? Going out? With me, I hope. Who else? Uh, what about your two wives and kids? Well, you know what they say. When the cats and mice are away, the lion will play. <laughs> I'll pick you up at eight. Mm. <laughs> Forward! <laughs> Let me go with your Susu. Sure. You have anything I can wear tonight? You mean to tell me you bring three big suitcases and you ain't got nothing to wear? Suitcase them don't have a thing in them. <laughs> you only have a little summer dress and thing. And since be in England, me now see the sun. Okay, 
Look in my bedroom, in my wardrobe. Uh, England is a expensive country, you know. You're telling me. Well, me only bring a little few shillings for spending. You want know. some money? You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so you think you're a lion and can handle a West Indian lioness? Listen, Quokbai. There is an old African proverb that says, an old discarded sponge is only turned to in time of desperation. And she's not that desperate. <laughs> It's Susu. So, so. She short the money. She only just come and she short the money already. <laughs> She's my sister. What's mine is hers. That's an old African proverb? Yes. Well, I've got a Guyanese proverb. It said old Africans who talk about old sponges should shut up. <laughs> Thank you, sis. I like your chin. Give me a barrels, no? <laughs> well, honey, sis, wow, man. Uh-huh. Mum's a bit down, though. You should take her out, Dad. Cheer what, her up a bit. What do you mean? I just text you out every Thursday? No, out, out, out west. Well, your auntie Susu won't text you out, out. <laughs> Looks like auntie Susu would be pretty busy with Matthew. When was the last time you took her out, Dad? How old are you, Sean? 14.75. Well, just over 15 years ago. <laughs> no wonder she feels neglected. Hang on. I know somewhere your mum really appreciated. Oh, when was the last time you took her there? Oh, just over 15 years ago. <laughs> so, I came, I cut, and I conquered. <laughs> You're off, are you? Yeah, I've got a new client to visit tonight. Ah, oh, you see that pork pie? You see the new jet-setting lifestyle these young people live today? So where does this client of yours live? No, oh, Peckham. Peckham is a jet-set area. <laughs> well, if she lives in Peckham, why don't you cut her hair in the shop? Oh, yeah. Got to do it upstairs. Now, look here. I don't want no conquering and cutting upstairs on my premises after hours. Sure, <laughs> Funny Shirley. What? I'm gonna give her the sexiest hair in town so you can take her out tonight. You gonna cut my wife hair? Look, Desmond. <laughs> we've been through this thing before. You cut hair and I style it. You chop and I caress. <laughs> you caress my wife and I'll chop you. <laughs> I still can't believe it. But the Susu seeing Matthew, the man is ugly. <laughs> well, she's been out with him nearly every night this week. The man's obviously got something. Yeah, African proverbs. <laughs> All I've been since Auntie Susu has been here is a mini cab. Take me here, take me there. She hasn't even enough money, petrol money. Well, you can afford it. You earn enough money. So what else would you have been doing on a Saturday afternoon? Ah, oh, well. As a matter all of right, fact. All right, all right, all right. I know you're a busy man. <laughs> but you must find time out for your auntie. She's family and family have rules. She's allowed anything in this house. I mean, that is the trouble with people today. They've, they've forgotten all them traditional values of, like, looking after one another. Oh, all right, all right, all right. But she's still a pain in the petrol tank. <laughs> I agree. Where is she now? I left her and lover in the car. They're coming in a minute. Matthew's in the car with Susu. <laughs> so what, Matthew? She was too strong for the lion? Well, we, uh, we were just having a conversation, that's all. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew, for a pleasant afternoon. <laughs> it was most enlightening. I hope that we can repeat that experience again. Well, the pleasure was all mine. An intellectual man can occupy me all the time. <laughs> so, how about you and me going boogieing tonight, for old time's sake? Me? Well, then you want me to pick you up? Yes, a clock. And don't be late. <laughs> 
Now you see, Shell, if you have it like this, it lengthens your face. So it's goodbye round dumpling face. Hello, long, elegant face. Tony, don't give me all that hairdresser's gibberish. Talk to me in English. You look nice. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> What's that? That? Oh, that's my own creation. Now, forget about Afro Sheen. This is Tony's gleam. Oh, really? Yeah, it's an exotic mixture of coconut oil, lanolin, cocoa butter, and a little bit of sh... You know it. Yeah, put a little rum in it and we can drink it. <laughs> Oh, yes, lovely. That looks lovely, Tony. Yeah, well, I aim to please. Yes, I'm sure you do. <laughs> you know how it is, Shell. <laughs> All right, I'll take it out. No, it's too late now. You've worn it. Listen, Doreen. Do You're angry. You only call me Doreen when you get of angry. Of course I'm angry, Doreen. You see? You said it again. Why? You must be vexed. Of course I'm vexed. I told you not have to shout. Oh, why you never put things back when you finish with them? Because I can't remember where to put them when I finish with them. Don't know where my earrings are. I was going to wear them tonight, Auntie Doreen. You vexed too. Well, you can have them. No. So what? And I suppose that is the last piece of chicken. Well, you can't have that back. <laughs> Why, I don't understand you English people. You get Vex easy, eh? Yeah? English? Who you calling English? Use! One minute you want something, and when me offer to give you back, you don't want it. Look, man, you just can't come in here and take things. That's not the way we do things. You gotta ask first. Then you don't have to shout. Who's shouting? You see what I mean about use? You is English. <laughs> this is my sister's house. Back home, you don't have to ask your sister for borrow things. You just take it. If she was in my house, she'd take anything she want. But you see, you English. <laughs> Everybody craven. A dress is a dress. An earring is an earring. I could understand if I borrow your car. That is different. <laughs> OK. OK, Susu. You've made your point. Listen. You see that dress you're wearing? Desmond was gonna take me out to somewhere special. Was? I am taking you out. No. Well, you save yourself some money, because I don't want to go now. Oh, come on, Shirley. Why you never tell me I was going to wear this dress? Oh, what? What do you want me to do? Put a note on it saying, hands off me own dress? This is my house. I don't have to do things like that. Listen, sure. I'm really sorry. I don't want to go out either. <laughs> Why don't I make it up to you and treat everybody to some take-in food? <laughs> I'll buy it, and we can sit around and have a chat. Well, since you're putting your hand in your pocket... Uh, what you want? Well, I'll have a crispy duck, uh, pancakes, uh, prawns in oh, chili sauce. We'll have fish and chips. Oh, why do you have fish and chips? All right, fish and chips it is, then. That is English food, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you going to Miss England if you ever come back home? <laughs> Michael, you have to drive me to the fish and chips now. <laughs> Where's Michael? Oh, he's downstairs doing the accounts. He'll be up in a minute. I want to see a toast to my sister, Shirley. Thank you for having me. I've had a lovely time. And the next time you leave a nice dress lying around, I'll still borrow it. <laughs> oh, at last we got you to ourselves. Susu, tell me, how is everybody? Still the same, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. And your songs? Still the same, they're not changed. <laughs> what about Rodney and Daphne? Still the same. Nothing changed. It's <laughs> in conversation, isn't it? Tell me, Desmond. What you going to do with that plot of land of yours? You still going to build a house on it? Yes, and he's going to build a house on it and retire. You still have that fool, fool idea. What foolish about it? The West Indies have changed. It's different. You just said it's still the same. Nothing's changed. Well, it changed since your father lived here. 
There's a whole heap of muggings and killings and things, Sean. So what's new? A whole heap of unemployment. So, so, I'm going there to retire, not to work? What I am saying is that there's a whole heap of people with the same idea, but when them get back home, them can't settle down. It's disappointing, and some people can't take disappointment. Susu, so, so, your chariot is waiting outside. You book this, you book that, you book everything. In Sit down, you old fool. Ah! What are you talking about? Dad? Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Can I have a word, please? In private. Of course you can. What is it? Did you take any money from the till? No way. Well, we're 30 pounds short in today's takings. Shirley, you borrowed 30 pounds from out of the till? No. Are we going or are we going? I'm coming. <laughs> Still mad about the other night? Mad? Me not mad. Me vex. Keep your kettle boiling. Next time we'll make tea. You mean that? Of course I do. Later, boss. Later. <laughs> Anybody would think that this was a state visit by the Queen. Thank you, Desmond. It was nice having you. Please come again. But not too often. <laughs> Cheryl, let me take one last look at you. You know, that weight really does suit you. <laughs> Get in the car.